In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can evaluate a log, figure out what a log is equal to. The easiest way to evaluate a log will be to make the equation equal to x, and then convert what's left to an exponent. We have several ways to solve exponentials, and so we can use that to find x, which is what the log equals. So, in this first example, we want to figure out what log base 4 of 64 is. We'll make that equal to x. When we convert this to an exponent, 4 is the base, x is the exponent, equals 64. We've solved problems like this before, we just have to get a common base on both sides. A good way to do this is to find the prime factorization, 4 is 2 squared, still to the x, equals 64, divided by 2 is 32, divided by 2 is 16, divided by 2 is 8, divided by 2 is 4, divided by 2 is 2, divided by 2 is 1, 64 is 2 to the 6th. Now we'll multiply our exponents, and we have 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the 6th. If both bases are the same, the exponents must also be equal. 2x must equal 6, and so when we divide both sides by 2, we get x is equal to 3. This means log base 4 of 64 equals 3. We have evaluated the log. Let's try another example. How about log base 3 equals 1 over 81? If we make this one equal to x, and change it to exponential form, we have a base of 3, and exponent of x is equal to 1 over 81. Well, we need to change 81 into its prime factorization. Divide by 3, 27 times, divide by 3, 9 times, divide by 3, 3 times, divide by 3 once. So we have 3 to the x is equal to 3 to the negative fourth. The negative is what creates the exponent. And then we can say, well, if the bases are the same, the exponents also must be the same. So x equals negative 4, which means the log base 3 of 81 is equal to negative 4. We can quickly evaluate a log by making it equal to x, and then converting the equation into an exponential equation.